The 74th Republic Day of India was celebrated in Consulate General of India, New York with a flag hoisting ceremony on Thursday, January 26th. Council General Randhir Jaiswal unfurled the national flag after which the national anthem was sung. The Council General then read out the address of the President of India. A short cultural program of patriotic songs was presented by Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, USA. In the evening, the Council General hosted a reception which was attended by prominent members of the diaspora, elected officials, a member of the diplomatic corps, friends from the media and people from different walks of life. More than 150 guests graced the occasion. The evening function began with singing of the Indian and U.S. national anthem by Master Ishan Tangriala, a young, talented singer of Indian origin from New Jersey. Later, Grammy Award-winning singer Falconi Shah delivered an enthralling performance of patriotic songs. Guests then invited for an Indian dinner, where they were treated to a wide variety of regional cuisines. A special attraction on the menu was cuisines of millets from different parts of India in celebration of the International Year of Millets 2023. The event had a distinct flavor of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, the celebration of 75 years of India's independence. Enjoy the highlights. Happy, happy Republic Day of India to all viewers of uh, ITV. Uh, I'm at uh, the consulate where the uh, reception is being hosted by the Consul General here on the occasion of the Republic Day of India. We have a wonderful crowd here. 
and uh, this is a wonderful evening here uh, celebrating uh, India's Republic Day. Uh, we hope and we pray that this uh, Republic of India grows from strength to strength and we become one of the top nations in the world. We become the leaders of the world. So all the best for all of people of India, people of Indian origin all over the world and uh, for everybody present here today. Hi, I'm Jennifer Rajkumar, New York State Assemblywoman. I'm the first Indian American woman ever elected in New York State. And that's why I'm so proud to be here today at the Indian Consulate celebrating Indian Republic Day. This is a very, very special day. And I think of the stories of Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Once he carried my mother in his arms. I also grew up on the stories of Mahatma Gandhi. And I learned how he inspired Martin Luther King Jr., America's very own civil rights hero. So today I'm here to celebrate India's Republic Day with the Indian American diaspora. I have the distinct honor of working to make Diwali a school holiday in New York City schools. And I have the support of the mayor of the city of New York. I've introduced groundbreaking legislation to make this a reality. This week, hundreds of Indian Americans came with me to the state capitol so that we can once and for all make Diwali a school holiday in New York City schools. So I'm here to say to everyone, Vande Mataram, Jai Hind, God bless America. Thank you. Hello, my name is Colonel Tawatya. Uh, my, with me is Seema Jaktianiji and Major Krishnachari. We are from Shadda Foundation and we want to wish a very, very happy Republic Day to all viewers of ITV Gold across the world. This is a great occasion. This is a symbol of the solidity of Indian democracy. Uh, and uh, we are very proud to be part of such world's largest democracy. Uh, we have a very small organization called Shraddha Foundation, which helps the widows and children of our martyr soldiers. And we are very proud to announce today that we did uh, help few widows at Hoshiarpur district in Punjab today on this Republic Day with the help of our colleagues in Hoshiarpur of T Seva organization, especially Colonel Ragbi Singh. Jai Hind. Hello. Here's uh, Major Krishna Chari of Shraddha Foundation uh, in the in the U.S. Wishing everyone. Indian across the world, a very happy Republic Day on the 74th anniversary of India's independence. We wish everyone freedom and democracy like India achieved 75 years ago. Jai Hind. Very warm namaskar to all the viewers of ITV Gold and from the Indian Consulate here in New York. Very warm greetings to you all on the occasion of the 74th Republic Day of India. We are joined here by the Indian community, by friends of India, by members of the United Nations and of the diplomatic corps as we celebrate yet another year of the remarkable journey of the Democratic Republic of India. We wish you all the very best. We thank the Indian community for its strong support in establishing closer, friendly, and stronger relations between India and the United States and for their contribution in the growth story of India. Once again, warm greetings on the Republic Day and thank you all so much. Thank you. On the occasion of India's 74th Republic Day, I convey my warmest wishes to all our countrymen, women, to Indian American community and to all friends of India. We seek your partnership as we continue to march on in a nation building exercise to make India into a great nation. Happy Republic Day to all of you. Thank you. Uh, Namaskar Jagdish Sevani. Happy Republic Day to all of us. Today is 74th Republic Day we are celebrating. And uh, we had a program in the morning here. Now we have a reception here. Also we had a program in Long Island. Town of Hempstead celebrated Republic Day, Gantantra Divas. And you have seen in last 75 years of India's independence, how much India has developed, especially in last eight years. Bharat ka jo istan hai, pure vishwa mein, 
भारत इज गोइंग टवर्ड्स विश्व गुरु इंडिया इज सेलिब्रेटेड सेवेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थडे एंड इंडिपेंडेंस डे एंड इन नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स इंडिया इज गोइंग टू बी द टॉप थ्री इकोनॉमीज इन द वर्ल्ड विथ जी डी पी ऑफ थर्टी प्लस ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स वाई इफ यू सी द पॉपुलेशन वाई इज द यंगेस्ट पॉपुलेशन इन द वर्ल्ड टूडे वर्ल्ड इज लुकिंग एट अवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी फॉर गाइडेंस बिकॉज दे नो दैट ओनली ही कैन डिलीवर एंड दिस ईयर इंडिया इज ऑल्सो द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी सो इट हैज़ टू प्ले अ बिग रोल सो इन द ग्लोबल अरेना प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एंड इंडिया दैट इज भारत इज प्लेइंग a very huge role and we must not forget the martyrs the soldiers who gave their life for india's independence and today we must ask ourselves what we can do for bharat in next 25 years to make india a vishwaguru namaskar